it's gamified. I love it. Like it, you know, it's like, oh, I achieved a new level and it makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah. It makes makes you feel like you're progressing. I'm Claire, the polyglot. I would love your honest take on the effectiveness uh, and usefulness of language apps. Right. So honestly, I think they're great. Okay. I've used language learning apps a lot because at this point, I think I made it clear that I'm quite lazy and I have a hard time keeping routines and, you know, like picking up. I love textbooks, but then I have a hard time actually, you know, picking them up routinely. Or and, bringing and, them and, with you around the world. Right. That's right. kind of heavy to bring around. Sure. So I love, I love language learning apps. Um, because first of all, you know, I'm lazy and I don't want to like structure my learning. So sure. I'm like, okay, what am I going to learn today? How should I approach it? Whereas if you pick up an app, it's just going to, you know, you just open the app and it tells you what to do. Yeah. I wanted to just go deeper, take a deeper dive into, uh, phone usage, your screen time, and maybe adding a productive element to your daily routine. And so a language app, which you like, and you're a fan of, it comes with that convenience, right? Like, what are your thoughts on all of this? I think we all love our screen time and, you know, it's like we all a bit uncomfortable about it. But I think at this point, you know, we all just spend a lot of time on our phones and our computers. And so I think for me personally, it makes me feel really good about myself when I feel like I'm using my time con uh, productively. So conquer the phone use and shame that comes with our right. daily lives. And so wow. for me personally, yeah. I love the idea of like opening a book and it makes me feel so smart. Sure. But I don't like, I don't do it. Like I don't actually love the actual fact of opening the book. And like, it just makes me feel kind of tired and it makes me feel like it's not so fun. Like, you know, I feel like it's something that my ego likes, but uh, my brain at the end doesn't really like it. Cause it's just like, I need to flip through the pages and focus on like the long pages and find everything in the book and then, if I want to listen to the audio, like sometimes there's a CD that comes with the textbook. Who and like, has a CD player? I don't even, I don't even have one. Like, where do I put this, right? And so when you open an app, it's so easy. It's all in there. It's very colorful. I like how you said you open an app. We're still in the book mode. Right. No, that's great though. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Uh, it's all there. The convenience, the app, it's built in. It's, it's colorful. Gamified. Oh, it's gamified. I love it. Like, it, you know, it's like, and like, let's face it. Let's be honest. Like those little dopamine hits, like. Sure. We all love them, right? So if it's a game, it's like, oh, I achieved a new level. And it makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah. It makes, makes you feel like you're progressing. And also, because there is feedback, so you need to actually pass. But if you're just self-studying from a book, you know? Mean, yeah, obviously, there's beauty, there's beauty to learning uh, through reading. And there is, there but is. The interactive element, the audio element, the visual and audio element, the playfulness, the engagement. Um, I hear you. I, I understand what you're trying to express. And I think... Um, sounds like you're a big fan of language apps in general and you would support them and as a polyglot your voice is important um, people lean on a lot of your uh, input and suggestions on how they should learn a language I think there are a lot of people who have tried certain apps and felt like they've wasted their time they're doing it mm. the wrong way but this kind of uh, support for it leans more towards how you approach it right mm. so I would even say is it, is it important to make it a part of your daily life every morning you wake up you give a little bit of that phone time towards something productive I think so. I right. think I think that's the best way to go around it. Right. And when you have a routine, like it, you can sort of make sure that you stick to it. Mm. Um, but you know, everybody everybody is different, and we all have different sort of routines. And and so I also like it that sometimes you know I am sitting on a bus, or I'm traveling somewhere, or I have to wait for a friend, and um, I don't like losing time. So. You know, I can just take out my phone and I can, you know, use an app or, you know, just learn something and, and uh, be productive. And I love it that, you know, you can just learn as little or as much as you want. And you can always, you can always learn, basically. There's no limits, right? Yeah. It's amazing. And so you've enjoyed your time using Glossica. 
Yeah, I think it's uh, unique in the way that um, the dialogues or like the the, um, the voice is authentic. Right. So I've used different apps and I've enjoyed them all because, you know, essentially as long as I'm learning, I'm happy with the product more or less. All of but, it contributes to this end result of your yeah, yeah. inclination, comfortable approach to language learning. Yeah, yeah. but I think with, with Glossica especially, um, like I said, like it's, it's an actual recording of an actual person with an actual accent. So meaning you've found a lot of apps have a computer generated apps, voicing, yeah. they exactly. read off of the, okay, yeah. I see, yeah. yeah. So That's I like that, important. you know, it's authentic, yeah. yeah. A real voice speaking to you of someone who is a native speaker can be a huge advantage. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I would just also like to speak to repetition right. again, because this was actually a book, but it had the recordings. And so I would listen to the dialogues over and over again. And I was, I was learning Chinese and from the languages I have learned, it's the most difficult one. And the sound and the structure and everything is just so different from the languages I knew before. Right. And it was only because I listened to the same sentences over and over and over and yeah. over and over again. Whenever I was on the subway, whenever I was walking, cycling, waiting for somebody, doing the dishes, I would just listen to it passively. Right. And at some point, I not only picked up the accent and the pronunciation and the tones, but also the sentence structure. I think you're a very uh, motivated and patient person and language learner. So thank you for sharing uh, your thoughts on language learning apps today. Thank but, you. Yeah. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe so we can pump out more. And again, big thanks to Claire for joining us today and we hope to have more conversations in the future. See you soon. Bye, we're Jen.